Welcome back to Valar. We have the Battleship Grab and Go Battleship board game. Two players, of course, because it's a battleship. Uh, you can get this at five below for five dollars. Here's the back. Looks like standard battleship. We're going to see how big it is. I know I got the Grab and Go Hungry Hippos a long time ago, and it was a terrible game. So, not really moving parts in this game. Should be fine. Got a cool battleship on the front here. We'll pop it open. Okay, comes this little single set here. Squeeze here, these come apart. These are two separate battleship stations. Got an off, like a gray blue, this black one here. So, let's pop it open. This way. They're very small pegs. You're hitting this. All right. There's our battleships. No detail whatsoever. And I know it's a grab and go, and you could have put a little bit of detail on the ship. You could have. Come on. We've all played Battleship before, and we've seen miniatures. It doesn't need to be. These plastic with just <laughs> some holes in it with no, no like representation of a, a ship at all, none except for maybe it's a little arrow here. That I don't like that. Don't like that at all. That's really cheap. Can I see that from the box? Let me see. <clears throat> you know, I guess I didn't look close. It does show. It's just those things. I think I just glanced over it, figuring they would be battleships, but they're not. Sure, it's still functional. But Battleship not being the most exciting, engaging game anyway, I think part of the fun in Battleship is having the battleships. <laughs> having your fleet. Um, as you can see, they're going to stick on here just fine. Uh, your pegs go in these holes. It's pretty easy. I'm not going to do them right now. I'm sure after the first time we play it, some of these might get lost. I don't know. So it'll be in a travel game. <laughs> uh... I guess he's got to be careful not to lose anything. So that's that. Here's your setter ship for both sides. Um, it does have storage, which is nice. And they do clamp pretty good, so I guess maybe you wouldn't lose them. So you put your boats in. You say A, A2. So you check for A2. If it's hit, your battleship gets hit. You put a red pin in so you know you've hit and then you sink all your post battleships and that's how you play battleship we all know that uh yeah the most upsetting part is like these aren't ships these are just like little things with holes in them which is lame uh, this part is not too bad uh these look okay like for uh construction wise still kind of sturdy for what they are not mad at that okay that's pretty cool now it fits together. You can put it back in the box or just have it like this and that's fine. So not a not a terrible thing. This could have done a little more detail, I think. Um, definitely easy instructions. It does tell you here. You have your carrier, your battleship, your cruiser, your submarine, and your destroyer. The Hasbro Grab and Go two player battleship. Came out one in 2014. But they've had like grab and go stuff before. These re-release them in these new boxes, and they do change them sometimes. Uh, the Battleship Dice Game is probably the best grab and go you can find. I think I might have it somewhere still. Anyway, find below. Not the worst. Better than Hungry Hippos uh, grab and go. So thanks for watching, Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.